Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you a very cute project. Uh, I do have those Sizzix uh, big dies. Uh, this time I'm going to show you what I made with uh, I, and I loved all, all those Sizzix big dies because they give you so much options how to use them. Today I'm coming to show you how I use those bottled up. They are designed by Tim Holtz. They are those cute mini bottles. And uh, I just created few, I'm still continuing, but I just created few mini tabs for my journals and they look so amazing. They are so decorative and uh, you can add them. I think I did show this one. You can add them to your uh, tags in journals. You can add them like decoration in paper clips. Uh, you can make them like a wedding treats I think it's called wedding treat like you do decoration on tables on wedding and the, uh, I think in a Christmas time they will be totally awesome or of course they are awesome for for Halloween <laughs> they are totally amazing for Halloween but I wanted to show you how you can decorate them a little bit a different way I'm gonna swap the camera view and show you how I made them hopefully you will enjoy so I do have here this beautiful die from Sizzix and uh, designed by Tim Holtz. Uh, it's called a Bottled Up number. It's double six double four zero eight. It's here and it looks like this. It looks like this from that other side. I do have also the box. Uh, if you will ask me how I made this, I just use double sided tape. I could this one was uh, on that paper fold it somewhere here so I cut it I glue it uh, on this paper and then all that paper I glued on my die <laughs> this is not my idea I bought recent not recently last year I bought dies from eBay from uh, bidding from eBay and it came like this and I do love that idea it's so easy to navigate myself in my dies they are for me it's much more clear <laughs> so I know what is here <laughs> So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kind of destroy the packaging because this is amazing acetate. I'm using it all the time, these acetate pieces, these acetate covers. Every single one I scrapped somehow because it's really beautiful acetate. It's great to use for pockets, for tags, for closures in your journals or books or just decoration. I'm using this amazing machine Sizzix Big Plus, Big Plus or Big Shot Plus. <laughs> I don't remember the name, but it's that larger one. I swap it immediately when it came on the on the market and I'm so happy I did it because this machine is awesome. I don't need any other cutting machines or embossing machines because this does everything and I'm gonna cut my bottles for my very next step I'm gonna use uh, I think last year I watched Tim Holtz uh, Tim Holtz video when he did that uh, alcohol ink transfer technique with this alcohol lift ink and I did love that so much and he made for himself kind of like you know sheet with so many alcohols kind of like palette and then he stamped on it it was beautifully done uh, I, I can't reach that, <laughs> that beauty so I made my mess uh, uh, on my on my piece and I used literally every inks I had at that time and it was uh, this mermaid uh, indigo then it was, I think, this one. Yeah, stone washed. And then definitely I used that caramel. This is my favorite, total favorite. Espresso. And I had uh, black ink from somewhere else. I'm not sure. Um, Sigwik or Sigwang. I had black alcohol ink. So I mix it up. <laughs> and this is my tool. <laughs> Please do not look at that color. <laughs> Because I'm working with a vintage look, so I'm okay with that, <laughs> with that look of my uh, tool. I've got here 
this isopropanol that's 99.9% alcohol and it's wonderful I do love to work with alcohol inks because even if they are dried like this you can kind of refresh them so what I do <laughs> mostly when I'm trying to color my things I'm using this my kind of like palette Oops. stay here I'm gonna spray a little bit of this alcohol to that palette. I'm gonna take my bottle. I'm gonna put a little bit of that alcohol to my tool and spread it here and there. And I'm gonna make my inky look. And if there will be too much, and yeah, this is kind of just, just gray, but if there will be too much, I'm gonna wipe it out with my with my tool but this way like very easy way I'm gonna make kind of worn look of my bottles it needs to get dry so this is wonderful I do love those inks exactly because even if they dry you can refresh them and I do have just green color everywhere, so I will take my brown inks and add there a little bit of brown. Once I will have this greenery and bluish and my crazy mix. Not sure if you can see. But from my own experiences, it mostly works if I add there, this is that caramel alcohol ink if I add that, that caramel it mostly keep that color sometimes not but mostly keep if you need see if you need to have grab new tool you just need to go to grab new tool Oop, that was too much and I'm gonna add to those edges a little bit of that caramel because that caramel is always so wonderful so I do have here a few not stamped bottles and I do have here a few already stamped and colored and they do look amazing amazing when you used some stamps on it so it makes that look of that bottle so cool so I'm gonna show you what I uh, what I used for stamping uh, the color I'm using is uh, are those distress paints and here these ones so just mix it well I do have here a few collections I found on Aliexpress I will put links down below for those who are interested to buy these stamps uh, they came from China so it took few weeks uh, before they came but they are very small and very delicate so that's why I like to use them here so I'm gonna just dab 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 that uh, distress paint on my stamp and stamp I'm not gonna press too much because it can spread that painting like how I will show you how it looks like um, like this awesome very delicate and it's beautiful I need to let it dry so I'm gonna take another one but before that I'm gonna clean my stamp from that painting this is just uh, normal that um those wet wipes I bought them here uh, in Lidl they are perfect for craft very handy and I'm gonna take another stamp and do exactly same very carefully I'm just gonna tap 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 and this is also a technique I saw on uh, Tim Holtz uh, videos if you need to know about 
alcohol inks, about distress paints, about distress inks, anything from Ranger Tim Holtz is the best what you should watch because he knows his stuff, he knows how to work with it, he knows how all these things react. So before uh, next uh, stamping you need to let it dry really, but just give that time and let it dry otherwise you can lift up or you know make those smudges. Uh, that first stamping I made with, with this antique linen uh, distress paint and uh, I tried before stamp with that white one. Uh, don't remember the name. I can have a look. Where is it? I think this one. Uh, picked fence, is it? Yeah, picked fence. I tried, but I do have much uh, vi vibrant or visible reasons with uh, results. <laughs> <laughs> results with this antique linen that's why I'm using that antique linen it's much more visible I'm not sure why I thought that with white one would will be amazing but this antique linen it's much more better and I've got here uh, this dabre acrylic paint dabre espresso or espresso not espresso espresso and for a second stamping I'm gonna use this to give to my stamping some kind of colors and I'm gonna use some of these stamps again those links will be down below one more time ah he's dead finally so here you can see so I do have that stamping I'm always cleaning, trying to clean my stamps straight away because, you know, they are very delicate and I don't want to uh, have any paint dry inside because that will ruin that stamping. And uh, I do have kind of prepared the background for my clear tax. Uh, I'm thinking to use these stickers finally somehow. I used here uh, also, you can see that I used uh, alcohol inks on this one to make it darker. Uh, here as well, it's mix of brown, uh, that caramel or camel and black. So I kind of like made it so dark. This was, I think, silver. Yeah, this was silver. All of them was silver. I didn't do anything with those gold. I will try probably. There you are. Okay. How long it is? <clears throat> and I think it will look so awesome. I need my scissors. And I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to put this on my bottle here oh come on where I will place it probably like this yeah it's nicely sticky that's good I like it and on that it will be in the background and on that I was thinking to do you know to put some photography and because these are small I think it can work just some super simple layout nothing complicated nothing too much like Overload it because I can. Uh, I want to see the stamping in the background, and I do have already on these from backside. I do have already double sided tape. I think it's the best glue for acetate piece. How I can place you here, maybe here. And maybe some number 
โอ้ยน้ำน้ำไปเลย and I shared these ATC collections already I just wanna show you uh, a little bit different style of tags or decorative things for your journal that it doesn't have to be always <clears throat> just paper and some layout on paper that it can be also acetate and then, as I do have many those acetate packages and I like that uh, those bottles because they are not teeny mini you know there is nice space oh I forgot to this oh shoot that was kind of too much, right? I'm gonna wipe it off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Oh, that was a Russian poem when... Uh, Oi, 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 ubiegajet zajčík moj. And I don't remember nothing else from that poem, but my mom remember all that poem, with all words, everything. And she learned that poem how long time ago? 60 years ago, and she still remember that, and I, I did learn that how long time? 30 years ago. <laughs> I remember only one sentence. <laughs> That's so terrible. Hey, I like it. Look at that. And maybe, maybe some word. Do I have some short, short something? Hope oh, ama amazing should be. Mm -hmm. Here on the top, I'm going to place it on the top. Just very easy. Look at that. It's beautiful from other side. It will be... Oh, it's not too bad, actually, because that bottle, it's colored, so I don't see just that white thing. So if I will just punch the small hole... Okay, I do have punched hole. And if I will place there string... Look at that. I really like that. It looks amazing. Look at this. Or I can, uh, you know, just put that um, jump ring and then hang it somewhere on the tuck. Oh, I really like it. These transparent tucks and stamped and decorated. So this is my very short sharing. I hope you are all well. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, have a wonderful day. Take care about yourself and I will come back soon with maybe some new idea. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye.